Five investigates taking us inside a Massachusetts prison for an exclusive interview with the man who blames notorious crime boss James Whitey Bulger for his decades behind bars. Mike Bodet talked with Fred Weichel on the eve of new court hearings that could possibly set Weichel free. We met up with Fred Weichel where he lives, MCI Norfolk. State prison has been Weichel's home for more than three decades. Did you ever think 35 years later you'd still be locked up? No. I was very naive and believed in the system that, you know, an innocent man would be proven innocent. Now I know that's just not how it works. Weichel is serving life without parole for the May 1980 murder of Robert LaMonica in Braintree. Did you murder Robert LaMonica? No. Absolutely not. One thousand percent no. Weitzel's conviction was based almost entirely on the testimony of one witness, a teenager who had been drinking and was in this Braintree Park just after midnight. The teen got at most a three second glimpse of the fleeing gunman who was in this area, about 180 feet away. From way over there, he identified Weitzel as the killer. And here's where Whitey Bulger comes into the story. I think he played a key role in this case. The, the biggest part was the night of the murder, I know it was him who gave the police my name. In letters he wrote from prison several years ago, Bulger revealed he knew Weichel was not LaMonica's killer and confided that before the murder he had talked with the real killer who had a beef with the murder victim. Bulger didn't name the real killer in the letters, but referred to him in code as L.A. and the boxer. Bulger says he advised the boxer to act first to kill LaMonica before LaMonica killed him. Right. Who is the boxer? It's common knowledge that Tommy Barrett is the boxer. In 1982, Barrett wrote a confession letter to Weichel's mother, Gloria. I haven't had a good night's sleep in almost a year because I know Fred did not kill Bobby LaMonica. I did. Yes, Gloria, I killed Bobby LaMonica, Barrett wrote. In Weichel's previous attempt to get a new trial in 2003, Barrett took the stand under subpoena but refused to answer questions citing his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. What's your opinion of Whitey Bulger? He don't care about me. He's, I'm just a pawn in his game. There's nothing personal. Do you feel like you were one of his victims? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just one of the lucky ones that else, that's alive to talk about it. Alive, yes, but more than half his life spent behind bars. Where were you when LaMonica was murdered? I was in the exchange lounge downtown Boston. And in the bow also was John Connolly, FBI agent. Weichel says he spoke briefly with Connolly that night. But the FBI agent who handled Whitey Bulger as an FBI informant and was later convicted of racketeering and murder in his dealings with Bulger declined to appear in court as an alibi witness for Weichel after Bulger told him to stay out of it. According to this letter from the U.S. Attorney's Office, that was verified by former Bulger associates Stephen Fleming and Kevin Weeks after they became government witnesses. In your case, do you think the system was corrupt? This is not a criminal case. This is a corruption case. Do you think you will finally get a new trial? I have no clue how the judge is going to react to all this. I believe I, I have enough to prove that I am innocent. Hearings on Weichel's petition for a new trial begin in Superior Court on Monday. The DA's office sent us a statement saying the Commonwealth is prepared to fully explore the convicted party's assertions at Monday's hearing, but in respect for the court process, we defer on addressing those claims outside the hearing. Coming up at 7, you'll hear from the local police chief who's a national expert in witness identification. He feels so strongly about the problems with Weichel's prosecution that he's speaking out against his own district attorney's office, which is fighting to keep Weichel locked up. Mike Bodette, 5 Investigates.